Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at another weapon video. This actually dropped yesterday. I didn't cover it initially because it seemed to go out at the wrong time. It went out only on the Japanese website, not on the UK one. So I thought it was a mistake and of course I didn't want to cover it if Capcom didn't intend to put it out. But they have then of course gone out and posted it on all their other channels. So I guess they just decided to let us have it. So we actually got four weapon videos yesterday. So I'm picking it up today to talk about the Hunting Horn because this looks hella spicy. There's actually some really cool options on this one. One. I definitely can't wait to check this out. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know what you guys thought of this. And of course, don't forget to keep it locked for plenty more Sunbreak news. So to begin with, this of course is the uh, Hunter rocking the Grand Golden Gear, which looks super cool. Loving the design for this one. Loving the hunting horn as well. The hunting horn itself just looks hella beefy. But the first thing they show off is a new Silkbind attack, the Silkbind Shockwave. This is actually super cool. It actually begins with a sort of very similar animation where you launch yourself up into the sky. Only this time it basically acts as a buff for your weapon. Described as an attack that wraps your weapon in iron silk, then for a short period of time any attack you perform causes the silk to vibrate, creating a time delayed shockwave that triggers additional hits. These additional hits do major stun, exhaust and part damage. So of course you can see from the gameplay that you once buffed, land the hit and then of course a few seconds later the additional hit procs. Now this of course is very nice because this will factor into absolutely any of your moves. So you have the kind of bog standard stuff, work it into your combos, but more excitingly if you switch back to other moves, once again like we've sort of seen with the previous weapons, you buff your weapon, switch using the switch skill swap feature and use something like slide beat. You of course end that in the finishing attack, you spin your hunting horn around, that already does a ton of hits. That was already a great move for stunning the monster, knocking the monster out because of course all of the impact hits it does. Now you have a additional delayed hits. This is basically just like doubling up the damage, doubling up the hits on every single one of your attacks. So that is very, very awesome. However, they then go on to show a new switch skill, the swing combo. This is described as a two hit attack that can be delivered either to the left or to the right. Keep in mind with Hunting Horn, you often have the freedom to sort of move around based on sort of the direction of your input. So you can kind of reposition yourself anyway, but with this move specifically, it allows you to quickly shift directions, making it useful for repositioning. So you can of course see in this situation, the Hunter can very easily position to the side to basically get out of the way of that attack. So this again is definitely going to make sort of lining up some of those big meaty combos super useful. But honestly, this is actually very, very cool. It definitely seems to be a running theme for a lot of weapons, not necessarily every single one, but there do seem to be a lot of these ones whereby it's like use one of the switch skills to, or one of the silk binds to apply some kind of buff. Thinking about things like Destroyer Oil, the Hammer we saw, now the Hunting Horn, and you then swap back to a previous move. So it definitely sounds like they're creating it in a way that basically synergizes together, as opposed to just saying, hey, you can swap between two completely random moves, and that way you can just kind of use what you want. They definitely want to sort of see people combining them, so this is going to make for some awesome gameplay. Anyway, that's it for the time being. That is the Hunting Horn. As and when the other ones drop, we will, of course, keep you guys posted. But for the time being, if you've missed any of our recent videos, be sure to check out one of the ones on the channel and stay tuned for plenty more Monster Hunter content.